Hi, I'm Prophet, or Lee, whether you, whichever you know me as. It's, I'm fine with both. Um, my pronouns are they, them, and zizir. So zizir pronouns are zizir, zers, and zerself. What are we making up words now? So I'll put that up on the screen. So they're used a lot like he, him, himself pronouns. Um, so in a, for like sentence examples, it would be like, oh, Z is over there. Do you want me to go get Zer? Um, oh, that book is Zer, Zer's. Oh, they must be, Z must be so proud of Zerself. I'm still working on them, so I will still slip up on my own neo pronouns. So I completely understand if other people slip up or don't get them quite right, but I will not stand disrespect of my pronouns telling me that, oh, I'm just a man or, oh, I'm just a woman. I'll never be non-binary, which is ridiculous. I'm right here. Wow! The land of make-believe! Now, is it just me, or do you guys also find it hilariously refreshing when these people tell us about their neo-pronouns, then when they go to use them in sentences, they start stumbling and bumbling and tripping over their own words, so they're forced to say, well, I'm still getting used to them, so I totally understand if it takes you a while to get used to them, too. Anyway, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. So I have a very quick and very crazy weekend Clown World update for you guys today. And as usual, we have very little time to waste. So let's get into it. Now, if you place your attention on the screen for a moment. So this is Maddie. Now, Maddie is obviously a biological man who identifies as a trans woman. Now, Maddie does call himself a trans man, which most of us know by now is a trans lesbian. Now, Maddie says he will only date cis lesbians and only use women's restrooms. What? Who, who the f do you think you are, you crazy little sh Let's keep this party rolling with everybody's second favorite paid establishment shill, Harry's boyfriend, Chris. Now, I know, I know. I said I was going to slow down on these guys after the new year because we were seeing quite a lot of these two young lads here on the channel at the end of 2023. But when I see clips like this, I just have to share them with you guys because they are so f***ing outrageous. Roll it. Now, Joe Biden's cognitive ability is not good. Anyone with eyes to see, you can see it. Every week it gets worse and, and it's getting worse by the day. Now, keep in mind, Biden is also dealing with very real and serious corruption and bribery allegations, along with a very real impeachment inquiry. So this makes complete sense. Joe Biden's asleep half the time. He has no idea where he is. He's a cognitive disaster, but simultaneously, he's a crime boss who's committing all this corruption, and maybe he's going to get impeached. You can just watch Republicans grasp for straws as we go toward 2024, especially as people feel better about the economy. Gas dips below $3. Like, we're really feeling better about our future, and their guy has 91 felonies, and is being found liable for abuse and liable for business fraud and his rhetoric gets more and more insane it's all distraction they're gonna dip reach for every single straw they can to try to distract from the fact that joe biden is calm cool collected and has been productive and the other guy is a complete disaster so just watch out for whatever whatever this is we're just gonna do this until 2024 until democrats win what did you say what the f did you just say to distract from the fact that Joe Biden is calm, cool, collected, and has been productive. No offense, but you are a stupid asshole. Hey, real quick, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you're enjoying the videos, you like the content, you want to help support the channel, grabbing one of these t-shirts is a great way to do it. And here is our first t-shirt release of 2024. And this is actually my favorite t-shirt so far. We the people are pissed off. And we the people doesn't include the young lads Harry and Chris because they're actually not pissed off. They're pretty happy with the destruction of this country. So there will be a link to the t-shirt in the description box below. And I also have some other very cool designs you can check out as well. Yes, that's awesome. So one thing that I find fairly interesting about these people that talk about their pronouns and gender and such 
is that they want to be taken so seriously, yet they make these TikToks wearing literal clown makeup. Roll it. Some people say pronouns are confusing. We should get rid of them, and I agree. No more he, she, they, it, you, I, me, them. All of it, gone. Nouns, also confusing. Gone. Verbs, do I look like I take actions? Do I look like I know how to act? No. Verbs, gone. Adjectives, what am I, a poet? Do I need to describe things? Gone. You know what? While we're at it, no more language. Don't talk to me. You people are a circus. So this next clip is a perfect example of what happens to the young, impressionable mind when sent away to university. It says, the colonized mind versus the decolonized mind, roll it. The colonized mind says, I don't care what's happening in Palestine because it doesn't impact me directly. I have my own problems and I need to focus and worry about myself and what's happening here. The decolonized mind says, I understand the way colonialism functions and it tries to separate us. I understand that there are transnational systems of oppression like white supremacy and capitalism and patriarchy and that all of those interlock and support each other and hold each other up. And I understand that the same forces of genocide that were used against my ancestors and have been used to commit genocide in places like Guatemala and other Latin American countries are the same forces that are committing a genocide now in Palestine. I know that their liberation is tied up in my own, and I know that all of this matters to all oppressed people on the planet right now. Oh, don't give me that liberal bullshit. All right, next up. So this lovely young lady says, people still have a lot of work to do around their fat phobia because nobody really wanted to touch her when they were trying to put money in her underwear when she was a go-go dancer. What? Roll it. I'm going to be really honest, there's a lot of really fat phobic people out there, even in the queer community. I was a go-go dancer at a pride party, and the amount of money that I made versus the amount of money that the thin people made was not the same. Sometimes people don't even feel comfortable like putting the money in my underwear, but people are like really awkward with like, should I touch you, should I? And I see them fully touching other people. So those are little reminders that people still have a lot of work to do around. Oh, wait. Was she a great big fat person? So this next clip is kind of long. It's a minute and 42 seconds long, and I was going to try to cut it short. But just listening to this guy ramble on, he starts describing his body shape. And you got to hear it. Now, this guy definitely wins the gold medal in the Victim Olympics. He starts out by saying, and he says it real fast, so you got to listen close. He says, the fact that I'm super fat greatly impacts my transness. What the f*** does that even mean? Roll it. The fact that I'm super fat greatly impacts my transness because the world treats my body like it shouldn't exist. So that means that I don't have access to clothing like so many other trans people get to have and play around with that I just don't, like literally don't have. I, um, <laughs> I found a video this weekend that I recorded a few years ago that I was looking for. It was a very intense video, but in it I say... <laughs> The only masculine piece of clothing that I have that fits me is a bow tie. And that's still true. Three years later, despite trying to get custom clothes, like even like saving up and investing in trying to get a couple of custom made shirts, turns out not only am I like super fat and I have the body of a super fat person who's like on HRT and so like a classic like masculine shirt, even in like big and tall sizes, doesn't like fit me properly because my body isn't that shape either but <laughs> apparently the ratio of like uh my back to front like ratio of how I fit in a top is not normative and so like it's even hard like like off the rack clothes basically like I'm not I'm not that shape and so it's not not even just about like going up to my size, but also that that's not <laughs> there's not enough option in, in shape either. It's really, really difficult to um, to see my trans friends have, you know, the privilege of being able to play around with their clothes. And that guy's got a serious weight problem. Go home, start exercising. Now listen, I'm sorry, this may sound mean, but 
I don't feel bad for that young fella. He's got his priorities all out of whack. Instead of worrying about his health and maybe tightening up a little bit, he's worried about finding a woman's blouse that fits him. Anyway, real, speaking of tightening up a little bit, real quick, before we go any further, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsors of today's video. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to let this loop on the screen now. She's out front of a United Airlines place there. I wonder if she's going to be buying an extra seat or they will give her an extra seat for free because surely she's going to need two seats. Anyway, today's video is being brought to us by our first sponsor is our great friend Coda 320. Coda 320, as always, sir, thank you so much for your kindness, generosity, and support. I truly appreciate it. Hope you're having a fantastic time down there in South America. Let me know when you get back to the States for sure. Second sponsor of today's video is the YouTube channel Clown World Explained. Clown World Explained, once again, thank you, sir, for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate the support. Now, after this video, if you want to go check out Clown World Explained's YouTube channel, I'm sure he would appreciate that. He's trying to get some more eyes on his video, and I will link that in the description box below. So, Coda 320 and Clown World Explained are today's video sponsors. Now, if you'd like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below, and I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video, unless stated otherwise by you. All right, get this off the screen, please. Oof. That's a huge bitch. Now, I'm not quite for sure exactly what kicked this off, but apparently... AOC Alexander Ocasio-Cortez led some kind of chant on the House floor and obviously her friends in the squad joined in with her. Now, I don't know if AOC did this to protest what's going on in the Middle East or what, but she's very passionate about it. Check it out. Roll it. Well, that's one thing we can say about AOC, as we just witnessed in that last clip. She's definitely passionate about her policy positions. Anyway, next up. So this young fella does some man-on-the-street interviews where he goes up and asks people what their pronouns are. Roll it. What are your pronouns? Uh, they, them. Why? Because I'm non-binary. What are your pronouns? Any. Why? Just whatever people feel comfortable with, you know? What are your pronouns? Uh, he, him. Why? That's just how I identify. Yeah, I think the pronouns are really confusing. Yeah. Yes, I don't even know what a pronoun is. Alright guys, we're going to be wrapping it up with this absolutely hilarious clip of MSNBC's Jonathan Capehart interviewing a former Capitol Police officer who, three years earlier, was at the January 6th Mostly Peaceful protests. Now, for some bizarre reason, Jonathan Capehart literally, literally starts to cry. He pulls out a tissue and dabs his tears. Anyway, real quick, guys, I just wanted to remind you to go check out Red Clover Fields on Etsy. That is my wife's Etsy store, and she's got some fantastic stuff in there, stuff I use every day. She's got elderberry syrup. I take a spoonful of that every day to boost my immune system. I put the calendula balm on my hands to keep them from getting dry and cracked up here in the cold New England winters. So if you're looking to boost your immune system up or looking for some other natural remedies, Definitely go peruse her store. I will put a link to that in the description box below. Anyway, guys, things are clearly getting crazy out there. So please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace. Roll it. I'm going to try to get through this. Um, thank you for what you did three years ago today. Um, please tell me your thoughts um, on this third anniversary. What the hell did you just say? I'm gonna try to get through this. Um. You're a pussy. And you ain't black.